Okay, people, welcome back to another edition of Foosh 5 Fridays. As always, I'm Robo, and today I'm going to go off the beaten path. I'm going to go into a toy line that has a lot of love and hate to it, and that is Kyoto's Amazing Yamaguchi Marvel toy line. Uh, we have the Deadpool, we have the Spider-Man. In fact, it's in transit right now. It just released, and then we have the Venom coming later. But the big deciding factor here are the Revel Tech joints. People either love them or hate them, and it's a huge determining factor. I mean, if you hate them, you hate them. And I don't think I've ever heard anybody say they love the joints. I think it's more people loving the byproduct of the joints, the final poses that it gives you on the figure. Because really, when it comes down to it. The joints can be a little bit ugly in places. But I'm going to go through my top five characters that I'd like to see in the line. Now to keep myself from throwing every Marvel character into the mix, because really I would like to see any and all Marvel characters in awesome action figure form. Rule number one was to eliminate all characters that I don't have a standard Marvel Legends for. Marvel Legends is my main display. The Revel Tech figures are kind of its own little entity off to the side. I also eliminated variations. I know there's only three figures in the line, but you could probably come out with five, six, ten, twenty variations of Spider-Man already. And as much as I'd like to have an amazing Yamaguchi symbiote Spider-Man come out, I don't want to put that on my top five because that seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, they could re-release it later in the black and white colors. So yeah, that's off the list. So I kept it to figures that will fit in with the stylized look that need the extra articulation and ones that I already have standard figures for in the display. Now runner up, I'm gonna say Captain America. I, I like the look of him. I'd like to have a more dynamic figure of him and I'd like to see what Kyoto could do with this in the more stylized look. Captain America, kind of wonky, kind of out of it. Yeah, 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 I'd like to see that, but it's not in my top five. For number five, I'm gonna put Carnage. This is another one that seems like a no-brainer that it's more than likely gonna happen. With them releasing Spider-Man right now and already showing Venom, Carnage just seems like a logical step from there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put him on here because I'd really like to see him. The extra attachments they would probably include would be awesome, hopefully an ax hand, some tendrils, some stuff flying around, some claws. Everything that they could add to this would be fantastic. And I'm gonna probably say this for every pick, but seeing Carnage with one leg over his head and coming around and all crouch down, yeah, whoo, <laughs> that would be amazing. Number four, I'm gonna say Bullseye. Now it's been a while since we've gotten a standard Bullseye, way back in the Toy Biz Marvel Legends days was the last one, but that was a pretty good figure. Not that I wouldn't mind an update, but it looks good on the shelf, it fits the character, it's a little detailed, but grappling about too much detailing, I'm not even gonna go there. But in the stylized, super articulated style of the Amazing Yamaguchi line, yeah, I'd love to see a bullseye. Everything blacked out, it would help to hide the articulation a little bit more. And then the weapons we'd get, hopefully we'd get some playing cards, a baseball, some sigh. I'm picturing it with two heads or two faces, however they want to work that. One smiling, one serious. Yeah, a lot of possibilities here. For number three, let's go with Iron Fist. Iron Fist is about to get a lot more exposure because of his Netflix show. Nothing wrong with that at all. We also just got a pretty good Marvel Legends version. So, again, stylize it up, make it look all crazy, come with some fire effects, having him in kung fu poses, kung fu kicks, kung fu chops. Yeah, I'd like to see an Iron Fist. We could go with masked and unmasked, again, in that stylized look. As long as the amazing Yamaguchi line all fits in together with itself, I'm good with stylization. Especially since, like I said, we already have a Legends version. So it's not taking away. It's not, it, there's not that pressure to go, holy shit, there's an awesome Iron Fist. I need that for my main display. But man, it looks weird. Why is it so stylized? Yeah, that temptation isn't there for everybody just looking for an Iron Fist. But for people who dig the Rebel Tech joints, who collect the amazing Yamaguchi line, Iron Fist would be a great addition to the line. Number one and number two, I couldn't decide which one would be which, and probably by the time I post this, it will change again. It's kind of a tie for first, but for number two, I'm gonna put Wolverine. And I know Wolverine doesn't seem like the most agile of characters, but I've seen so many pinup pictures in the back of comics. I've seen so many artists take on the character 
that it's hard not to want him in this line, both for the stylization and for the articulation. Getting him down in a crouched pose with his arms crossed, the claws coming across, just having him in those claw poses, yeah, that would be, that would be great. I would love to see a Wolverine here. I don't know which costume I'd like to see more. I almost want to see the yellow and blues. That would fit the style better. It's kind of gaudy, it's kind of out there. Uh, stylize him up a little bit and he would fit in this line perfectly. Plus there's nothing like putting Wolverine and Deadpool together and having them duke it out. That would make for some fantastic pictures. I'd love to see that. And for number one, since I put Bullseye in there, since we already have a Deadpool, I would like to see Daredevil. Again, one color for the whole body would help hide the joints a little bit more. And Daredevil's known for his agility and not super agile, but him doing flippy flippies all over the place, legs up, arms around. And if he comes with a billy club, some string on it, several clubs actually have one with a solid piece that would jag around and then have one with an actual piece of string between it. You can do your own poses there. That, yeah, that would be very, very cool. It's hard to come up with more accessories for him. I can't picture any other facial expressions I'd want with Daredevil. Just make them stern, just make them poseable, just make them red and I would buy it. So there you go, my list of what I would like to see in the Amazing Yamaguchi line. Your list may be different. Your list may include Nightcrawler, which it would be an amazing addition to this line, but I'm still waiting for a good standard Nightcrawler to go with my Legends, to go on my main shelf. And then Beast, same way. And plus, both of those characters are gonna make it into future Foosh 5 Fridays. Ooh, I did four Fs without even trying. That's awesome. Before you hit the dislike because of the line itself, just know that not everybody has to like the line. I don't expect everybody to like the line. If you hate it, let me know down below. But if you love it, let me know what your list is because I'd like to add to my list. I wanna, I wanna see if I missed anybody, which I'm sure I did. I'm sure as soon as somebody says something, it'll be like, yeah, I wish I had thought of that. Basically what it boils down to is I'm just an asshole on the internet rambling on about action figures. So there's no right, there's no wrong. That's just my list. So if you dug this edition of Foosh 5 Fridays, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the Foosh.